Right, to answer that question, let's look at linear polarization. Here we have a vertical and a horizontally uh, polarized linear uh, propagation. So typically that rotates unpredictably down a, down a tunnel and that propagation is affected in the, by the tunnel dimension and surfaces. So let's look at circular polarization. With circular polarization, we actually contain all of the different polarizations and that uh, creates a significantly more reliable radio link. So it's like the propagation adapts to better to the tunnel dimensions using circular polarization. And then circular polarization propagates past obstacles and obstructions a lot, lot more reliably. So we've, we've had a situation when we were testing circular polarization, we were, we were in, a mi in a mining tunnel and there was a train that was moving past as we were testing. Now this train literally occupied more than about 80% of the circumference of the, of the tunnel at that time. And whilst we thought that we would get significant signal loss, our ping time changed from 2 milliseconds to 3 milliseconds and we were actually quite pleasantly surprised uh, that it uh, performed that well. So, Let's look again at vertical polarization. Typically what you would find is that it would bounce off the roof and the floor, go through its 180 degree phase change, and when it's received by the antenna, as you know, that would be a destructive signal as far as the demodulator is concerned. So a similar thing happened with horizontal, just a single, single bounce off the wall and into the receiving antenna. Now if you look at circular polarization, because of the nature of the wave, it would typically go through two hops. One off, once off the, the side, once off the roof, and back into the receiving antenna. And as you know, 180 degree, 180 degree, 360 degrees, so we actually have an additive signal coming into the um, receiving antenna. Now that typically, if we go back to my, uh, my example of the, of the train, we believe that's exactly what, what, what happens is because we actually have the ability to literally radiate around the obstruction and we have a much more reliable signal that is received by the receiving antenna.